All right, as the expression goes, there are many ways to skin a cat. Well, likewise, there are many ways to add, subtract, multiply, and divide in spreadsheets. Let's start with the most obvious. Let's imagine we have two numbers here in cells B2 and C2, and we're going to add those numbers up. Well, the first way we're going to do it is we simply use the plus sign. We've always learned that's how we're supposed to add, and in this case, this will work. You get an answer of 15. Now, a second way you can do the same function is to use an operator function, and the operator function for add is simply add. So we have the add. B2 is the first, separated by a comma, and you have C2. At that point, you also get 15. Okay, so whenever you use an operator function, be sure to remember to use the comma sign to separate the two arguments, or the two cells referencing the numbers that you want to add. All right, same deal goes with subtract. We've always learned to use the minus sign growing up, and that works just fine. But in spreadsheets, you can even use an operator function, which is the minus function, and again, separating the two numbers by a comma. The multiply function works the same way. Let's start with what we've always known, 10 times 5. Sorry, I'll reference the cell C2. Or use the operator function, multiply. And again, B2 comma C2. And lastly, the divide function, we can do 10 divided by 5, or 10 divided by C2. And same thing, if we want to use an operator function, we simply use the function divide. All right, so two different ways to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Well, hold on a second, didn't we learn a sum function? We sure did, and a sum function works just fine here too. Sum, this time you want to highlight the data range that you want to sum up. Um, so you can see here, we're not separating the two arguments by a comma, it's been highlighted, and as a result, you have a colon separating the two. And as a result, you still get 15, so the sum function works just fine too. Now what about for multiply? We sure have the product function, and this product function works the same way, where you highlight the range of cells and click enter, and you get the same answer of 50. All right, here's a quick summary, folks. For the add, subtract, multiply, and divide operators, you can use the following operations. The second row here, the add, minus, multiply, and divide, are well, they all belong in the family of operator functions. Okay, we'll see you next time.